Hyperion is a Hugo Award-winning 1989 science fiction novel by American writer Dan Simmons. It is the first book of his Hyperion Cantos. The plot of the novel features multiple timelines and characters, and follows a similar structure to The Canterbury Tales by Chaucer. The story is centred around the events set in motion by the opening of a collection of mysterious structures known as the Time Tombs on the outback planet of Hyperion. On the eve of an invasion of the planet, a final pilgrimage to the Time Tunes has been organised. As the Seven Pilgrims brave the perils and surprises of their journey to and on Hyperion, each of them tells their tale to the others, detailing their backgrounds and motives in order to learn why they were chosen for this final pilgrimage, which will take them to the ancient Time Tunes, wherein lives a creature of unfathomable power known as the Shrike. The Shrike is a humanoid entity three meters in height. It has a carapace made entirely of metal and has four arms with hands tipped with scalpel-like finger blades. Its body is covered with an array of blades and thorns and its eyes are multifaceted and give off vivid red glow. Some worship the Shrike as a god, while others fear it, and there are those who have vowed to destroy it. Each of the pilgrims goes to Hyperion seeking the answers to unsolved riddles of their lives. Each carries a desperate hope and a terrible secret, and one may hold the fate of humanity in their hand. The events in Hyperion are set over a thousand years in the future. Humankind has conquered space travel and has colonized hundreds of worlds. The hegemony of man is a socio-political cultural super entity comprising one of the primary human factions dominating our arm of the galaxy. It unifies with its law over 150 billion human beings and over 200 worlds connected by the world web, as well as many colonies in the outback and protectorate. Modified humans known as ousters live in space stations between the stars and are engaged in conflict with the hegemony. The hegemony is ruled by a dualistic system consisting of the All Thing, a conscious-based public forum accessible to all members of the hegemony via neural implants, and the Senate. The government of the hegemony is advised by the Technicor, a conglomerate of artificial intelligences, which typically makes predictions for the government. A Farcaster is a portal that offers a means of transportation over immense distances instantaneously, without any time delay. A system of Farcasters connect the planets within the Hegemony's world web. Farcaster technology was given to humanity by the AI Technicor, and no human has ever been capable of truly understanding the mechanism that makes it work. Tree ships are distinctive spacecraft created and used by the Templars. Each measure at least one kilometre in length and consist of a single massive living tree harvested from God's Grove. It is then made spaceworthy through heavy use of containment fields. Tree ships are typically captained by a single Templar, with the honorific of true voice of the tree, and crewed by a complement of clones. The Ore Thing is a conscious-based public forum accessible to all members of the hegemony via neural implants. Its real-time network governs hegemony politics, feeds information to tens of billions of citizens, and has evolved a form of autonomy and consciousness of its own. Citizens are able to vote on legislation every few minutes if they wish using the All Thing as a form of direct democracy. The AI Technicore is a corporation of artificial intelligences that have achieved self-sentience and act as an organisation with an interest in the affairs of humanity. The Technicore evolved from human hardware and software, but they became an independent force in the galaxy and separated from humankind. They maintain a relationship with their creators, however, and provide the hegemony with the technology to maintain farcasters. The Pulsen treatment is an expensive medical procedure intended to stall the aging process and increase the individual's lifespan. A person's life can be extended indefinitely through several procedures which must be repeated with increasing frequency as the individual ages. Side effects include the subject's skin acquiring a bluish hue and a dependency on the treatments. Braun Lamer is a private investigator from the industrial high-gravity planet of Lussus and is the daughter of the late Senator Brian Lamer. Braun is approached by a man simply known as Johnny to investigate his own murder. Colonel Fedman Kassad is a former soldier born on Mars where he grew up in the impoverished and hostile conditions of the South Tharsis relocation camps as a member of a minority that still call themselves Palestinians. During his training, Kassad takes part in a number of combat simulations, during which he meets a mysterious woman who appears to him and with whom he shares an instant attraction. 
Captain Hetmerstein is a Templar, which is a quasi-religious organisation whose beliefs are centred around the reverence of life and nature. They're based on a planet called God's Grove, a world that has been transformed into a verdant forest planet with massive trees and globe-spanning woods. Lenar Hoyt is a Jesuit priest, raised and ordained on the Catholic world of Packham. Hoyt tells the story of excommunicated priest Duray and his search for the mysterious Bakura tribe on Hyperion. More than 150 years old, Martin Salinas is a poet and author and a descendant of one of the wealthiest families of Old Earth. He sets out to complete his greatest poem, the Hyperion Cantos, finding himself in the court of Sad King Billy, where the Shrike appears to him as his muse. Sol Weintraub is a Jewish scholar and professor from Barnard's world. He is also known as the Wandering Jew, a name describing his constant search for a way to save his daughter's life from a degenerative disease. The consul is the former governor of Hyperion and is contacted by CEO of the hegemony, Mina Gladstone, who tells him he has been selected for the final pilgrimage to Hyperion. She warns him that one of the other selected pilgrims is in alliance with the Ousters. The Hyperion Cantos is divided into four novels, Hyperion, The Fall of Hyperion, Endymion and The Rise of Endymion. According to Simmons, readers should consider Hyperion and The Fall of Hyperion as one complete novel. The short story Orphans of Helix is also set in the Hyperion universe. Death of a Centaur in Simmons' anthology book, Prayers to Broken Stones, features the first story set in the universe of Hyperion. Hyperion is considered by many to be a cult classic. It won the 1990 Hugo Award for Best Novel and the 1990 Locus Award for Best Novel. Mm -hmm.